Hey, so in today's lab, we are going to be discussing diffusion, which is the random motion of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. As you can see in the simulation of the blue particles that are going around, you can see that it is an area of high concentration with a non-permeable membrane right now. Once I remove this divider, it's going to become semi-permeable, and you can see a diffusion happening, going from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration until it reaches equilibrium. Now, in regards to today's lab, uh, in today's lab, you'll be able to rank the molecules below from the smallest to the largest. We have starch, we have glucose, water, pores in dialysis tubing, and IKI, which is also known as Lugol solution. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is glucose. Uh, glucose is a monosaccharide with the chemical formula of C6H12O6. You have six carbons um, arranged in a hexagon pattern. These carbons are bonded to 12 hydrogen and six oxygen molecules. Next, we have starch. Uh, starch is a polysaccharide and can be found in potatoes, corn, wheat, and rice. As you notice, starch is a number of monosaccharides attached together. Uh, these polysaccharides can run into the thousands of these glucose molecules when they're attached together. Both glucose and starch are sugars, both are carbohydrates, it's just that starch happens to be a lot bigger of a molecule than glucose. Next up, we have water. Uh, in our chemistry of life unit, you built water molecules. Uh, water consists of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms, and is simply written as H2O. Dialysis tubing, we have pores in dialysis tubing, and this is going to represent the cell membrane, which is said to be semi-permeable. Within the dialysis tubing, we're going to put some liquid inside. The ends of both sides will be sealed off. The, the pores within the tubing are microscopic. Finally, you have IKI, or Lugol solution. The main thing that we'll be on the look for is the I within the Lugol solution, which is iodine. One important part of this lab that you'll need to know is that if you have Lugol solution and starch is added in the same place at the same time, the color will result in a blue-black complex. Therefore, if I were to take a polysaccharide, such as a potato, and put Lugol solution onto it, there will be a blue-black coloration on the potato. This is due to a chemical reaction, so we use Lugol solution, or IKI, as an indicator of starch. After watching the video lab and answering the questions, you'll need to rank the above by calculating the grams per mole of each from the smallest to largest. Once you start watching the video, you'll notice there is a bag of dialysis tubing within the beaker of water. The dialysis tubing is kind of a whitish yellowish color and is sealed off on both ends. Inside the dialysis tubing, we have three things. You have starch, you have glucose, and some water to dissolve the starch and glucose inside of the dialysis tubing. On the outside, within the beaker, um, outside of the dialysis tubing, we have the liquid portion. So you have water and the Lugo solution, which is also known as IKI. To start, you would take a test strip and insert it into the fluid. It would start as a blue color and then can move all the way up to a red color. If we took a test strip and put it inside the dialysis tubing for the presence of glucose, we would get a positive test result because there is glucose within inside the dialysis tubing. If we were to take a test strip and test the outside of the dialysis tubing, we would get a negative reading for glucose. After about 10 minutes, you notice that the color has changed within the dialysis tubing. If one were to test for glucose inside the dialysis tubing, it would test positive. If one were to test the liquid within the beaker, there would also be a positive for glucose on the test strip. Based on this, you can see that diffusion took place. You're going to have to use an understanding of diffusion and some logic to figure that out.